Okay, it is time for another Q&A. I know I just did one recently, but whatever. I thought I'd do another. I couldn't think of any video ideas, so I thought I would just do another Q&A. Um, and I got some questions actually pretty quickly this time, so I just thought I would film. So the first question is from my friend Jess. Just announced she's pregnant. You guys know Jess. She's been on my channel multiple times, um, and I'm just so excited that she's pregnant. Oh, I can't wait. So her question was, do you want kids? If so, how many? She knows I want kids. Of course I want kids. I would have tons of kids like I would have as many kids as I could possibly have um but realistically two or three um probably two just like because the world um but I would love to have a big family I know I want a lot of pets um but as for kids I definitely want two um like at least two and I would be you know totally open to adoption or you know fostering so my friend Corinne asked, if you would adopt more cats, what would you name them? Okay, so I don't know if I would adopt more cats. Definitely not now. My mom would never let me. But once I move out and stuff, I would rather foster, to be honest. Um, I would love my two cats, but they are such a handful. And they would love other cats and other animals. I know they would. I'd rather get a dog, I think. Um, I think they would really love a dog. But as for cats, I would foster rather than adopt as of right now. Like, eventually I would adopt. And I'm sure that if I foster, there's going to be one that, like, holds on to me and I'm going to keep it. Um, but I have a lot of names. She said, what would you name them? I have lots of cat names because I'm a crazy lady and I already have names picked out here. Okay, so cat names. Buffy, Cat, Freya, Henry, Kit, Cassie, Poppy, Alfie, Milo, Betty, Biggie. Yeah, okay. Now, next question. When do you think you'll we'll get out of quarantine? Never. <laughs> Honestly, like right now like my boyfriend's job he works from home right now and they keep pushing it off every month they're like pushing off when they go back into the office and I just feel like that's going to keep happening and I think the earliest it'll be is January um but then like the winter it'll be worse so it's going to be like next spring possibly um or whenever there's a vaccine or when people start freaking wearing masks like they should be are you excited that summer's almost over? Yes and no. So this summer went by freaking fast, um, but it's been hot and like uncomfortably hot and lots of rain and humidity. And I hate that. I love the weather we have right now. It's like 82 and cool and breezy. Um, and I'm going on vacation next week, so I'm excited. I really only need like one solid week of good summertime and I'm, I'm good. I'm like filled up to the brim on my vacation like summer. So I'm fine. I love fall. It's my favorite season. It's my birthday. It's my boyfriend's birthday. It's Halloween. I love it. I freaking love fall. So I am kind of excited that summer is almost over. Um, also, there's less people like out and about in the summer and like in the in other seasons. So good. Do you think Trump is going to win again? No and yes. Um, I think that it's so corrupt and we've already know for a fact that he's messing with the USPS and that Russia's involved and like there's so much shit going on with the election that he could win but not fairly it's not going to be a win that actually counts for anything and that he really won just like last time it's going to be a, a big joke um but no I think that I'm usually pretty pessimistic, but I'm trying to have hope in humanity in the U.S. and hope that there are enough people that really are just going to take the time to freaking vote. Like, mail in your freaking ballot. Bring it. When you get in the mail, bring it to the freaking place and hand it to them in person. If you don't trust the mail, do that because it's so freaking important. Like, my mom registered to vote for the first time ever in her adult life because this is so important this time around. I mean, it was important last time too, but I think no one really... A lot of people didn't really realize what was at stake. Like, we were like, there's no way he's going to win. Like, that's how I was. And, like, look what happened. So, um, I hope more people are like my mom and are stepping up and taking that step to really make sure they're making the right choice. I know we don't have a great Democratic choice, but we have a Democratic choice. And that's the better choice. It just is. It's better for all of humanity. And if you disagree with me, you can go and unfollow me right now. And if you leave any comments about how you support Trump, I will just block you. It's not about closing off your opinions or being closed-minded. It's about my positivity and my mental health. And if you vote for Trump, you are not a good person. And that's it. That's a period, point blank. That's it. I don't care if you're a nice person. I don't care if you feed stray animals and are just like everyone loves you. If you vote for Trump, just factually, you don't care about other people and people who don't have money and just other people in general. That's it. You don't. And like, there's no way you can argue with me any other way. Um, it's just a fact of life. If you support Trump, you support keeping 
marginalized groups down. You do, and that's it. There's no way around that. You can be a Republican, totally, and, you know, have your beliefs and everything, but supporting Trump isn't just being Republican. It's being evil. So that's my stance, and if he wins, I'm be fucking so mad. I just think there are enough people this time around who are taking it seriously. I know personally people who did vote for Trump first time around and now are realizing the error of their ways, and I hope that there's like a whole hundred people out there doing that. Um, I think if you vote for a third party candidate, you're just dumb, to be honest, because it's just so unrealistic. Maybe one day that'll be a thing that might happen, but never in the history of America has a third party candidate barely even come close to winning. So at that point, it's just an extra vote for him if you vote for a third party candidate or if you don't vote. Um, and I know people are like, oh, votes don't matter, but they actually do. Um, if we get enough of them in your state, the electoral call, they, okay, you know what, just look it up. I'm not your freaking Google. My rant is over. I don't have the energy for this, okay. Um, what are your favorite baby names? Okay, so I don't want to give my actual baby names, like the ones I would use. Um, so I'm going to read through some ones that me and my boyfriend nixed off of our list because they don't go good with his last name or we just like didn't like them for our personal children in the future. Um, so we'll go through some that I like for, you know, just in general. So, um, Edgar and Theo for boys, those are the two that I'm not going to be using. I would love to use Jackson, but it wouldn't go with his last name. And Harrison as well, but that won't go with his last name. For girls, I have so many um, that I won't use. I just love boy names more. Like, personally, I think I'm going to have a boy first, so that's just my vibe. Um, but okay, so for girls, Scarlett, Juliet, Adeline is my favorite, and is from Age of Adeline, my favorite movie. Um, and Della for sure, but that won't go with his last name either. Um, Davina, Nina, Gwendolyn, or Gwen, Nora, Cordelia, or Cordy, Josie, um, and I think that's it, actually. I don't have that many. I, like, cut this down a lot when I went through with my boyfriend. We, like, cut down all the ones that were just, like, I like them, but they're not for me. But I'm not gonna give the ones I would actually use, because I don't want other people to be choosing them, you know? Okay. Um, when do you think you'll have kids? <laughs> that's a question for me and my boyfriend together um but I'm not even engaged so like it's it's down the road um but pretty soon after getting married like I have no I have no uh, I don't know how to word this I am not financially prepared for a child but I am mentally and emotionally prepared for a child I think um so it's kind of up in the air I want to say in five years or less I hope less because I'm turning 28 this year and I really would like to have a kid by 30 31 but I don't think that's gonna happen but you know it's fine whatever I I just I hope within the next five years and I think I think my boyfriend would say the same thing well let's hope so I know he's not gonna watch this so it doesn't really matter um okay when do you think you'll want to get married honestly I finally found the person I'm so happy with and I can 100% see myself spending the rest of my life with him. So I'm not in a super big rush to get married. Um, I think that me and him are both kind of on the same page with weddings. So I think if we did get engaged, we'd get married pretty soon. Like we won't we'll need a whole year to plan or like rent a venue. Like I think we, we already know kind of what we would do. So um, honestly, I could, I could say in the next year or two, but I'm not gonna push it. We've only been together a year, so I'm not trying to like, rush anything. But like fe feelings wise, I could say in the next year or two. Okay. Um, what item? This is from Lauren. What item from the drugstore would you love to try if only it were cruelty free? Oh my god, so many. First of all, there's some new stuff from Physicians Formula I want to try. They're no longer cruelty free. A lot of new stuff from Went Wild. They're no longer cruelty free. Um, anything from Maybelline? not anything but like I think they had a new mascara come out and I would love to try that but Maybelline's not cruelty free um so there's quite a lot of stuff actually um but I would definitely say like the brands that used to be cruelty free that are no longer is what really bothers me like wet and wild I love wet and wild they have such quality products for such good prices but they're no longer cruelty free so that just really bums me out like everything from them is really exciting me um and honestly, the drugstore prices have just really gone up, which is bugging me too. So, like, even if something came out, like, a lot of stuff from Revolution Beauty, it's a affordable brand, but it's still kind of up there. Like, there's two things that I want from one of their lines, and, like, together they're, like, $25, and I'm like, no, that's okay. So, um, yeah, but pretty much Maybelline mascaras and um, Wet n' Wild are about the two things that like I'm really eager to get and like try but you know Lauren said not a question but I love you I love you too oh my god you're so cute my friend's sister said favorite hydration face mask um 
I'm not really a big masking person at the moment. If I have masks, it's more for like acne and I just use it as a spot treatment. But for hydration, I like an oil. That's like my main thing. The Good Molecules oils are my absolute favorite. There's the um, day one and night one I use. One's heavier and one's lighter. There's ultra hydrating face oil. And then um, the other one, I think it's the Buckthorn. I will link them below actually if I remember. But the Good Molecules, two little tiny oils, they're awesome. And I think if you do have dryness, you can use it just in those areas of dryness or all over. They give you like a really plump, gorgeous looking skin. Um, so I really, really, really love those. And then someone said dating tips during pandemic. I don't want to get into it now, but I do actually, um, I wrote a couple of articles for Love Pinky where I write dating and relationship advice as my job. Um, and I wrote a couple of articles about the pandemic and like dating during quarantine and stuff. So I will link those below um, if you want to check them out, if you're interested in that. I think I actually always have my, all my articles for Love Pinky listed below. I might not, but um, I will link in this one, the ones for quarantine dating. Yeah, I think that was the last question. Let me double check, see if any new ones came in. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see. Also, have you guys heard that Stephanie Meyer is working on two new Twilight books? What? I hope one's a prequel. That would be super cool. I think that was it. That was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.